you build a ship that's capable of going to Mars, well, what if you take that same ship and go from one place to another on Earth? That was the question posed by SpaceX founder Elon Musk in 2017. It's a question that has captured the imagination of many, but especially the military. For them, it represents the key to unlocking new possibilities in logistics and rapid global mobility. So what might Starship cargo actually look like? The concept of high-speed, point-to-point transportation using spaceflight technology has been a long-standing ambition in the aerospace industry. By repurposing vehicles designed for suborbital or orbital launches, the goal is to deliver cargo or passengers across the globe in a fraction of the time conventional aviation allows, tapping into a market significantly larger than traditional satellite launches. While the idea remains largely argued for decades, it began gaining real momentum with the unveiling of SpaceX's Starship, a massive next-generation spacecraft with the potential of carrying hundreds of tons of cargo to virtually anywhere on Earth and potentially across the solar system. But serving as a cargo vehicle is one thing. Meeting the military's stringent requirements is another. Can Starship do it? Let's start with speed, a critical factor for any cargo vehicle, but absolutely vital in military operations, where timely delivery can mean the difference between saving lives or ensuring the success of a mission. Starship is designed to revolutionize global transportation by enabling rapid travel from one point on Earth to another. Using its powerful engines to reach orbital velocity, it escapes the limitations of atmospheric flight, avoiding air resistance and weather conditions. This allows it to reach speeds far beyond those of traditional aircraft. Once in orbit, Starship can coast at high speed before re-entering Earth's atmosphere and landing at a distant destination. This capability is especially valuable for military operations where the rapid deployment of personnel, supplies, or equipment is critical in responding to emergencies or evolving mission requirements. To put its speed into perspective, Elon Musk's 2017 presentation at the International Astronautical Congress featured a video showing a conceptual flight New York to Shanghai in just 39 minutes. In comparison, the same journey by commercial airline takes 12 to 14 hours. Most long-distance trips with Starship would take under 30 minutes, and any location on Earth could be reached in under an hour. In the future, Starship will be able to launch daily and repeatedly with minimal refurbishment after each flight, making the ship suitable for use as a tactically responsive launch system. Another key factor in evaluating a freight vehicle is its payload capacity. Starship, particularly in its Block II configuration, is the most powerful launch vehicle ever built. With a diameter of 9 meters and a height of 52.1 meters, it can carry up to 150 metric tons in a fully reusable mode or up to 250 metric tons when flown expendably. For comparison, one of the most widely used cargo aircraft, the Boeing 747-400, has a maximum revenue payload of around 113 tons. Starship's massive capacity allows for the transport of a wide range of military equipment, including heavy artillery, armored vehicles, and even helicopters, all in a single launch. This greatly enhances strategic mobility and logistical efficiency. Once the technical issues have been thought of, the next thing to consider is price. People often think that rocket flights are expensive, but not with Starship. One of the core principles of SpaceX's design philosophy is reusability. Starship is intended to be fully reusable, including both the spacecraft and its booster. This capability makes it especially well-suited for Earth-to-Earth -Earth payload transport, where frequent, rapid flights are essential. Its ability to return, land, and quickly refuel enables multiple high-speed trips between global destinations, supporting both cargo and passenger missions. Reusability also drives down costs compared to current commercial space vehicles, which typically require extensive refurbishment or complete reconstruction after each launch. In the long term, this could make high-speed point-to-point transport far more affordable, particularly as supporting infrastructure matures. Fuel cost is another important factor in overall affordability. A single Starship launch currently costs about $900,000 in fuel, more than traditional jet fuel. 
However, this high cost is largely due to SpaceX not yet producing its own propellant. To address this, Elon Musk and a partner committed $100 million to the four-year XPRIZE competition, which seeks breakthroughs in carbon capture and storage. The goal is to use this technology to synthesize liquid oxygen and methane by capturing atmospheric CO2. If successful, this means the company could produce fuel by itself and significantly lower fuel costs and reduce the environmental impact of methane use in Starship operations. For missions limited to Earth, there's another way to further reduce costs. SpaceX has proposed using only the upper stage of Starship for point-to-point -point transport. Elon Musk once noted on X that with the addition of two to four Raptor engines, the upper stage could handle these missions efficiently. This single-stage approach improves cost efficiency, simplifies operations, and enables flights of up to 10,000 kilometers at speeds reaching Mach 20 all while maintaining meaningful payload capacity. It also reduces noise during takeoff and landing, making it more practical to operate in or near major cities. Taken together, these innovations position Starship as significantly more cost-effective than existing rockets. While the system is not yet fully operational and exact costs remain to be seen, SpaceX aims to reduce launch expenses to as low as two to three million dollars per flight. Gary Henry, Senior Advisor for National Security Space Solutions at SpaceX has expressed strong optimism about Starship's potential for cargo delivery. He cited the example of four major logistics providers, DHL, FedEx, UPS, and the U.S. Postal Service. These companies currently offer expedited shipping from the United States to China and the Western Pacific at rates of around $33 per kilogram, with delivery times ranging from two to five days. He then posed a compelling question. Do you think if you could deliver that same package 10 times faster, you might be able to sell it for $33 a kilogram? I think so. Once fully operational, Starship has the potential to outpace other rockets in terms of cost per kilogram to orbit, especially for high-capacity, frequent missions. Given all these advantages, it's no surprise that the U.S. military is highly interested in this vehicle. The Department of the Air Force is investigating the potential of rocket cargo transportation for Department of Defense Logistics. In early 2022, the U.S. Air Force awarded SpaceX a $102 million five-year contract as part of its rocket cargo program. This award aims to explore how SpaceX could transport military cargo using its launch vehicles and cargo containers compatible with other modes of transportation. The contract also includes an option for demonstrating this cargo delivery capability. Two years into the program, the military's interest remains as strong as ever. Gregory Spangers, chief scientist at the Air Force Research Lab, reflected on the program's beginnings, saying, We looked at this for seven years and it never made sense. But as we started digging into it, we found that the business case and the cost had changed dramatically. The Department of Defense expressed growing enthusiasm for rocket cargo. Colonel Gabe Arrington, head of the Air Force's Disruptive Technology Division, emphasized its strategic value, stating, Rocket cargo represents a game-changing capability for the Air Force. It's my top recommendation to senior leadership when it comes to investment priorities aligned with the joint warfighting concept. The Space Force has long had its sights set on Starship. During the sixth test flight at Starbase, Texas, an event that drew notable figures like SpaceX, founder Elon Musk, and President Donald Trump. Another key observer was in attendance, General Chance Saltzman, Chief of Space Operations. Meanwhile, the branch of the U.S. military responsible for global cargo transport is also showing interest. Air Force Colonel Christopher Seaman, head of the Strategy Division at U.S. Transportation Command, noted the potential of the technology, saying, this could become another option. It's intriguing. It's easy to see why we care. Still, he emphasized the need for further analysis to fully grasp the operational concept. This includes exploring logistics, like pre-positioning cargo at launch sites for rapid deployment and ensuring efficient ground transport once the cargo lands. Despite its significant advantages, rocket cargo faces several challenges before it can fully realize its potential. One of them is to reach 5,000 subscribers. Nah, just kidding. But that's our challenge. You can help us hit that milestone by subscribing. Thanks.
Not all goods are suitable for transport by rocket. For example, cargo must be pressurized to withstand the low-pressure environment of space, which could otherwise cause air to expand and damage delicate items. Additionally, large bulky objects may not fit well within the cargo bay's design or may require specialized handling for space travel. For many types of goods, the vast volume capacity of Starship could be excessive, making it an inefficient choice for smaller or lower value shipments. To provide a truly global service, SpaceX would need to build a network of spaceports and logistical hubs, an endeavor that requires significant time, investment, and international collaboration. Expanding this operation worldwide while ensuring reliability and safety would be a gradual and expensive process. However, one of the biggest challenges is, of course, procedural and political. Launching from the United States and landing in a country such as those in Asia would require complex licensing and regulatory agreements between nations, which can be challenging and time-consuming. High-altitude, high-velocity cargo flights also raise concerns about air traffic management, safety standards, and compliance with international flight regulations. Additionally, the environmental impact of Starship launches, including carbon emissions, rocket exhaust, noise pollution, and potential effects on the ozone layer, could face scrutiny from environmental agencies and the public. Securing regulatory approval for frequent large-scale launches would require thorough environmental assessments and continuous oversight. And then there's the chance of being mistaken for an intercontinental ballistic missile. Regardless of how advanced the technology is, it's still essentially a massive rocket. Communicating the intent behind such a mission could be diplomatically sensitive. Imagine having to say, hey, Russia, we're launching a point-to-point -point mission. This isn't a nuclear warhead, trust us. The only path forward is gradual change. Regulatory frameworks established by agencies like the FAA, along with increasing global cooperation in space exploration, could help make suborbital cargo flights more practical over time. If Starship proves to be a reliable alternative for long-distance air cargo, it could rapidly capture a significant share of the market. With the potential for economies of scale and reduced costs, Starship has the capacity to disrupt the air cargo industry, particularly on high-volume transatlantic and transpacific routes, where speed and efficiency are paramount. As global trade expands and e-commerce continues to grow, the demand for faster, more efficient logistics solutions will only increase. Starship's ability to deliver cargo across vast distances at high speeds positions it as a compelling option for modern supply chains driven by time-sensitive delivery. Airplanes currently operate on transatlantic and transpacific routes with limited stops, relying on a global air cargo network built around major hubs such as Atlanta, Hong Kong, and Frankfurt. Starship has the potential to bypass these hubs entirely, enabling fast, direct cargo flights between virtually any two points on Earth. With its long-range capabilities, Starship could serve not only established air cargo routes, but also reach underserved regions, helping to build a more efficient and responsive global logistics network. Imagine a future where you order an item from a country halfway around the world, and it arrives in your city in less than an hour on a giant ship. Exciting, right?